Hi from my back porch. How's everyone doing today? It's nice to have you join me. I had to be outside today because the sun is not blaring right now. Yesterday, the last few days, if you live in Florida, have been ridiculously hot. And this is a lovely break to our weather. There's beautiful breezes. You're going to hear my wind chimes. You may hear them now. I hope it's not drowning me out. So I'm still a rookie at this video stuff. But anyways, I want to bring you along with me to practice. And um, what I'm feeling is the need to ground myself. We're, uh, we, I'm speaking on my personal experience, several weeks into this uh, quarantine. And I was doing pretty good up until just this week and I'm really not sure what shifted but something definitely shifted and I'm trying not to ignore it and recognize it and tune into it and when I start getting that monkey mind bouncing all over the place in directions I don't really want to go that's when I need to ground myself so this is a practice that uh, has um, some beneficial poses to help with grounding it helps me feel connected to the earth, which of course draws an energy down into my body. And it also calms my mind. And the other benefit along the way is we're going to get a nice workout in the legs and the hips because they're very tight right now. And a lot of times we, we hold emotions in our hips when we're really not sure what to do with them. So I recognize that's what's going on in me right now. So, I hope you enjoy coming along this journey with me. We're going to start with a, a, grounding, a grounding breathing practice. Um, so, while we get ready and set up for that, I just wanted to share that I am going to be using a blanket and um, blocks. So, um, go ahead and gather those up. If you don't have blocks, get creative. Uh, look in your pantry for two cans that are the same size. Uh, grab a couple books, a couple stacks of books. Um, or, of course, go on Amazon and have it delivered to your house tomorrow and you'll have blocks because they're a really wonderful tool to have for your yoga practice. It's by no means um, a crutch. If anything, it's a, a wonderful gift to give yourself because uh, sometimes we just can't reach the floor, and sometimes we just need that extra uh, help that a block will bring us. So, um, enough about that. Join me on my mat. I'm going to sit on my blanket. It's more comfortable for me. That's entirely up to you. I'm going to sit with my legs crossed because that's what's comfortable for me. But you do you, and just find yourself in a comfortable place. We're going to start with a four-part breathing uh, practice that is intended to ground us, but it's also just a wonderful way to quiet the mind, calm the nerves, and just bring us back to this peaceful space, which is right here in this moment. So it's four-part breath. I want you to visualize a square with four equal sides to it. You can create a square with two arms here. Well, you get the point. Um, so we're going to breathe our way around the square. We're going to inhale, we're going to pause, we're going to exhale, we're going to pause. We're going to do it again, and again, and again, and again. So I'll lead you in the counting. Get comfortable. Close your eyes. Just take a nice inhale. We'll do three universal breaths together. Inhale. Let it go. Exhale. Do that again, and remember with our inhale, we expand everything and open it up. Inhale, exhale, we release, we contract, squeeze the belly button into the spine. One more like that. Inhale, and exhale. So now that we push the breath out, we're going to inhale for a count of three, two, one, pause, three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one, pause, three, two, one, inhale, three, two, 
one, pause, three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one, pause. Tune in. Tune in. How do you feel right now? Here, you're in the child. Hear the breeze just rustling the branches of the trees behind me. I just breathe it all in. Mother Earth is so beautiful. We have so many gifts that we receive from the earth. And then we connect with that. We are one with that. So if your eyes are still closed, go ahead and blink them. As you open them up, we're going to start moving the body and get into those hips. So, um, Let's just go to the top of our mat and grab those two blocks. Keep your blanket close by because we are going to be on the knees a couple times and you might need them. I'm going to put my blocks, they have three levels. This is one, this is two, and this is three. So I'm going to start at the middle level on my blocks and I'm just going to start in a forward fold. Cut my head off the video, sorry. Amateur at this. So we're just going to go in a nice forward fold. Have your blocks hip width. Place your hands on your blocks. Rounding in through the feet. See how my feet are nice and aligned. They're not out wide and they're not pigeon toe. They're right in the line with my hips. Think about that femur bone. Whoops. That big long muscle in our body. Starting at the hip all the way down. All the way down to that middle toe. Find that middle. Just kind of pedal your knees. If I turn sideways, does that help? Kind of pedaling the knees. We're not going to hyperextend by locking them this way. We want a little bit of buoyancy in those knees. And then slowly start dropping those hands flat onto the block. Notice my back is flat. I'm not rounding like this. And if you are having a difficult time obtaining that at this level, bring the blocks up. It's not cheating. It's honoring where we are because you're going to feel this up the backs of your thighs. As a matter of fact, I'm going to stay here. I like this. Look forward towards the top of your mat. Roll those ears away from the shoulders and the shoulders down your back body. We're going to take three big breaths here. towards the earth. Feel that energy drawing towards the earth. 
Notice the bend in my knees. My hamstrings are very tight. Just kind of hang like a rag doll. Shake it all out. One more breath here. Turning upside down for a reason. We're reversing that blood flow. Good. Release the hands. Gonna move your blocks out of the way. Walk your hands to the top of your mat. We're going to down dog. So hands are shoulder width, feet are shoulder width. Slowly start walking it back till we create this inverted V. Try not to jam into the finger pads. Stuff here so you can see what I'm doing. Not jam into the wrists, but use the finger pads to bear the weight. Like you're clawing into the sand. Watch how I melt my heart back towards my thighs and allow my head to just drop between my arms. Breathe. Two more breaths like this. Don't worry if the heels don't come to the earth. You can even pedal if that feels good. On your next inhale, look up between your hands and just slowly start walking forward into that forward fold again. Again, use your blocks if you wish. Find that nice neutral spine. Breathe, quick breathe. target every part of the body. Breathe. Feel the weight evenly distributed between the hands and the feet. Shift if you need to shift. Rolling the shoulders down the back body. Can you do two more breaths here with me? Slowly come down to the knees, release the tops of the feet, bring the hips back to the heels, take a child's pose. If your head doesn't reach the earth, simply stack your fists and rest your forehead on the, the fist, or you have a block that can catch your head. Melting the hips back, feel this gentle release of the spine. Come on up out of that child's pose. Walk the hands up to where you're on all fours. And then walk the hands forward and flip your toes. Lift the hips, down dog. Settling in, three breaths. with you to the middle of your mat so we can do a wide forward fold. 
So just finding a wide stance, wide, 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 whatever is comfortable for you. And again, notice I'm up high on my blocks. My toes are pointing forward. I have the weight evenly distributed in the feet. Feel all four corners of the feet. And as you push into the block, lengthen and find that nice flat back. So I'm going to turn sideways now so you can see what I mean. Nice flat back. If you're unable to do this with the blocks, if you still feel you're rounding or doing one of those, just simply put your hands on your hips and come forward this way. We're going to breathe. Take the blocks down to the lower level, progressively going forward and to the lowest level, and then to the earth. Place the hands right in between the feet, right in alignment with the feet, and just hang. This is where you're really going to feel the tightness. I am really tight here. Got a little bend in the knees. Just hang. Let the crown of the head go towards the earth. into the toes, back into the heels, into the toes, feeling yourself grounding. Come up, inhale, wiggle your feet till they're more of hip width. Take three breaths. Foot can be 
flexed or flat. Shift your weight now into your left hand and your right hand on the inside of the right knee. Pushing that right knee out and just kind of lean to the left. Just breathe. Inhale, bring that back. Both hands to the earth. Now you're going to flex that back foot as you lift the knee up. Step back, plank pose. Take an inhale. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths. Push back down dog. You know what else that improves your immunity, which we all could use right now? Three big breaths. Good. Look up between your hands, bring that right foot forward. Lower that left foot. Square the hips, square the shoulders. Inhale, warrior one. Three breaths. Release the hands to the earth. Pivot up on that back foot. Step back to your plank pose. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Also reduces pain. Three breaths. It reduces stress. And it reduces inflammation. Good. On your next inhale, step that left foot forward. As you ground that right foot, square the hips, push into the earth, lift up, warrior one. Smile. Lower your hands to the earth. Exhale. Push back. Inhale first. Exhale. Lower down. Inhale up. Over. This time, push back child's pose. But before you get there, walk those knees wide. Toes together, sink back. Inhale. 
Inhale to come up. Find all fours. It's gonna do just a few jump, gentle cat cows. So our, our hands are under our shoulders, our knees are under our hips, our spine is neutral. The intent is to lock this in place and lock this in place and the spine and the neck is what moves, all right? So inhale, dropping the belly. Notice the hammock I'm kind of trying to create with my back. Inhale, lift the chin. If you had a tail, push that tail up. Expand the belly. Exhale. Shoulders stay in place. Hips stay in place. My spine moves. My head moves. Drop it between the arms. Pull the belly in. Tuck the tail in. Push all the breath out. You need to breathe, inhale, cow. When you need to exhale, cat. Good. Now take that left hand, step it way to the top of the mat and bring the left knee right to where that hand is. We're going to pigeon pose. Walk your right hand up to meet your left. Start sinking back into that right hip. Walk the, the left toes out towards the right wrist to where you are comfortable. You've got a block you can prop under that left hip if you want, or you can use a blanket and prop under the right hip. Just make it comfortable. This is a beautiful hip opening stretch. Stay up high, square the shoulders, square the hips, breathe. stretch from those hip flexors all the way up into the ribs. If you need the blocks, you can use them. Now let's go down to the elbows. And if you would like to go all the way to the floor, I'm going to use the blanket since it's hard concrete out here. Just extend those arms and release. Now pigeon is one of those poses that we're all in different places so please don't regret if you can't get all the way to the floor. Just work with where you are and honor where you are. Slowly come up out of that if you're all the way flat. We're all in different places. I'm trying to accommodate us all. We're going to tuck the back right toe as we lift the hips up and then slowly drag that left knee back. And then we're just going to kind of shake our hips, just kind of release any tension. And then when you're ready, do a couple cat cows, release that spine. Walk that right hand forward, bring the right knee up to meet it. Line your hands up, sinking back into that left hip now. Walk, kind of wiggle your toes over towards that left wrist. You don't open as much on this side. Ideally, one day, if you're really into getting deeper into your hips, you can keep working with this pose and your leg, your shin to your foot will be aligned with the top of your mat. It used to be a goal of mine. I've Pass that up. Got close a couple times, but that's okay. Just square the hips, square the shoulders. And again, if you want a little extra support under here, just prop your block. If you're ready to go on down to your elbows, do so. want 
go flat out. time in this pose. This is one of those that we love to hate, but it's so beneficial. For the sake of not making this video too terribly long for all of us, slowly start to come out of this pose. Tuck that back left foot under to lift the hips. To release that right knee, Shake your hips and then find yourself back in down dog. Let's stay here for five breaths. your fifth breath come down to the knees swing around over onto your bottom bring your blanket with you so you can sit on it but take those legs out in front of you it's habit for me kind of shift to the edge of your blanket so you can kind of feel this pelvic bowl tilt a little bit think of your pelvic area as you Flex the feet. Let's go back a little bit. Now, I want you to think of that femur bone right there in the body. And we want to elongate through that femur bone, but we want to make sure it's set in that hip pocket correctly. So taking your hand on the inside of your thigh and the outside of your hip here, just kind of rotate that skin around, and then that allows us to sit right down on the sit bone. And then do that to the other side. Inside of the right thigh, outside of the right hip. Let's just kind of give it a little shift. And then just feel yourself grounding down, placing your hands on either sides of that blanket or the ground, wherever you are. Feet are flexed, toes are pointing up. I want you to really push through the ball of the big toe. Push that tailbone into the earth as you grow the spine. Draw the floor in to strengthen. It's not just for the it's for the spine too. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. Take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. Even though you're engaging that core, take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. This time, drop the chin to the chest. Keep pulling those shoulders back. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Just kind of shake that neck out. You can release all of that energy you were just holding in that Dabdasana pose. It's also called staff pose. We're going to do a little straddle. Not one of my stronger suits. I lost that flexibility a long time ago, but I am okay with that. Some people have that natural gift of just being able to spread out wherever you are, honor it, flex those feet, have those toes pointing up, push your hands into the earth, sit up nice and tall, inhale, exhale, keep those feet flexed, that's what keeps all of this active and Engage. Breathe. Inhale. And again. Inhale. We're going to lift the rib cage up and we're going to rotate towards one of those legs and just walk out to where you start to feel this leg. Once it starts lifting up, you've gone far enough. So keep rooting in through that opposite leg, twisting that shoulder towards the other leg. Breathe. You're going to 
feel a really lovely stretch through the groin area. Inhale the center, lift the ribs up, rotate to the opposite leg, walk it out. Pull your mat shoulder around, breathe, keep those feet flexed. Let your right hand slide on out to the foot. Push into the earth as you spin your chest open, sweeping that left arm up and over your head. Keep rooting down through the heels, pressing through the feet. And inhale, come up. Slide that opposite hand out. Spin the chest open, swing that arm up and over your head, breathe. Can you feel your mood improving? I can because I just like this opportunity feeling like we're practicing together. Inhale, come up. Pick up on the undersides of those knees, bring those feet back together. Now we're going to lay down on our mat. Find the center. Hold on to the backs of the thighs. Slowly lay down. Oh. And we're going to just keep the left foot anchored and just grab on to behind the right. Point and flex that foot. If you have a man's tie or a yoga strap, is a good thing, a good time to do that. Heck, you could even open up your blanket. I forgot to grab my strap, but I'm just going to use my blanket. Push through the heel of the foot. Draw the shoulders back. Straighten that leg. Breathe. Inhale. We're going to lower this left leg so it's nice and long. Breathe. Good. And now we're going to turn the foot. So if we're looking up at the clock, turn it like to 2 o'clock. Just let that leg open to the side. hands go to the other side of the body. Inhale, bring it up. Bend the right knee. Put the right ankle onto the right knee. So we just did pigeon on our front sides, now we're doing it on our back side. This is kind of the equivalent of pigeon. Flex the foot. Bring that left thigh in towards your chest. Breathe. Feeling a nice stretch in that right hip. Breathe. And move. Extend that left leg long into the air. Flex the foot. Point it. Roll it around. And then keep your legs just like this. Engage the core. Slowly lower that to the floor, to the earth. Letting this knee just fall open. And breathe. Good. Bend that knee again. Now bring the knees together so they're squeezing together. Squeeze. Pick them up and bring them towards your chest. Press. Now open your legs out to the side. Grab onto your ankles. Kind of like handlebars. Whoa, this one gets into those sticky hips. Breathe. Leaving any 
stress with this. Lower those feet to the earth. Uncross. Extend that left leg long into the air. Flex that foot. You don't have strap, just keep the leg just like this. So I'll do this side without my blanket. Straighten out that right leg. Hold on behind the thigh if you feel like it's going away from you like mine is right now. And if you don't have a strap, you just hold on to the outside of the thigh. Open that leg out to the side. And breathe. These are big muscles, which requires big breathing. Inhale, bring it up. And then draw it across the body. Inhale, back up to the sky. Bend the right knee, cross the ankle on top of that right knee. Figure four stretch now on the other side. Let's go ahead and grab on the back side of that right thigh, bringing it in closer towards the chest, compressing. Your ankles want to move around, mine want to crack right now. So three. And then go ahead and extend that leg long to the air, point and flex, rotate the ankle. Gauge that core, slowly lowering that foot to the earth while allowing that left knee to just let gravity do its job, let it just open. Go ahead and bend that right knee, cross the ankles. I'm going to do that on the other side now. Squeeze those knees together, then pull them towards your chest, and then just kind of open your legs out like those handlebars. Pulling it in tighter makes it tighter. You got to smile. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling better already. Spray flying over, it's so beautiful. Release the legs, uncross. And now pull yourself into a little ball. Wrap your arms around your shins, just gently rock, rock and roll back and forth. And then we're gonna take happy baby. So we're gonna bend the knees and pulling them in towards our armpits, flexing our feet so they're pointing up towards the clouds. With your peace fingers, grab your big toes, pull the knees in. If you can't reach them, Grab your ankles. Can't reach that. Grab your shins. Can't reach that. Pull in underneath your knees. Actually, it's not even a matter of what you can reach. It's what feels best. Breathe. Gliding the feet helps get deeper into those hips if you so choose. And then just rock and roll back and forth. soles of the feet together and just pull that in into this bound angle stretch. And then take your feet flat. Roll to the side. Prop yourself up. Nice and slow. Come back to your blanket. A few more stretches. We were in Dandasana not long ago, so I want you to do that same adjustment. Grab the outer hip, the inner thigh, roll it out. Roll. I'm feeling the femur pulling in, sitting up nice and tall. Let's keep the left leg flexed, pointed foot, actually both feet, but we're going to bring the right foot onto the inside of the left thigh like we're doing tree pose. Now if your knee 
doesn't go to the earth and it's it's not comfortable, just prop your block underneath there. Sit up nice and tall. Find this beautiful alignment of your spine. Take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale to lengthen. And then we're just going to hinge forward. And we're not going to round forward. So we're going to keep those shoulders back, chin up, and hinge forward. Bring your hands by your side. Breathe. And breathe. Good. Inhale, come up. Take your right hand to the outside of that left thigh, left hand behind you, and just do a nice little twist.
hips or shake all of that out. I want us to just round forward. I want us to just let that spine round. So just walk your hands out. Grab whatever and round and pull. Starting to slow the body down, slowly start to roll up. Slow the breath down. So let's just do one final twist for that spine. Stay seated on that blanket if you wish. Take your left hand to your right knee, right hand behind the body. Sit up nice and tall as you inhale, grow the spine. Exhale, notice my head is just still aligned with the center of my body. Inhale, grow the spine. Exhale, keep drawing that right shoulder behind the body. Inhale, grow the spine. Let your head go this time. Exhale. Shake it out, and then right hand to left knee, left hand behind the spine, sit up nice and tall. Keep that head right in the line with the center of the body, exhale, rotate from the belly. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale, rotate that left shoulder back. Inhale, nice and tall, take the head this time as you exhale. set up for Shavasana, I want you to take your blanket or your blocks because we're going to go back into that bound angle pose and you can use the blanket like so, roll it, place it on top of your feet, then tuck it under your ankles and just let the knees be padded. We've done the stretching part, now it's the restorative part or if you don't have the blankets and you have the blocks, you can Blocks. Hold your knees open. Take your time getting there. So you slowly rock yourself back onto the floor. Tuck your shoulder blades, lift the heart, tuck them underneath your body, and allow the palms to be face up. You're expanding the chest, opening the lungs. Allowing that belly to expand. Take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Start a five minute timer for Shavasana. time unplugging. Bring your awareness back to that four-part breath. Or another option is with your eyes closed, just simply tune into the sound of the wind, the wind chimes, and the breath. And when you're quiet, 
thoughts go somewhere else, just catch yourself and remind yourself that you want to listen to the wind chimes. You want to practice that way. It's not supposed to be perfect, my friends. It's not supposed to always work. Some days are easier than others. Just try. Take a nice inhale, exhale, wiggle your fingers and your toes and your head. Inhale, bring your arms up and over your head. Exhale, release. Inhale, bring your hands up. Exhale, take them to the outsides of your knees. Inhale, draw those knees nice and slow back together. Exhale, feet flat. Gently roll to one side, propping yourself up as you slowly return to seated. As we end our time together, I hope you're feeling better. Are feeling better. I hope you're feeling a little more grounded. And I want us all to draw our palms together at the center of our heart. As we bow our head 
to our heart looking inward at the beauty that exists inside of you. Because you know in any moment we can find grounding just in the breath. So take an inhale. Exhale. The light that shines within me honors the light that shines within you. Namaste my friends.